It's Carl Thompson here from StorageCraft. Today I'm presenting on using Image Manager to replicate to Azure File Share. Get asked about this quite often. Obviously, Image Manager now has its built in S3 replication. So, today I'm going to show you about leveraging Image Manager for automated replication to Microsoft Azure. So, just a quick diagram here. Uh, on the left, we've got our production servers and workstations up the top. And then we're backing up using Shadow Protect to our backup server. And this is basically the machine that runs Image Manager on your local network. And obviously from here we've you know got our virtual boot and head start restore um, capabilities. But up the top uh, on the right there we've got the Storage Craft Cloud replication. So that's obviously built into Image Manager, um, leveraging our disaster recovery as a service platform. And that's providing you off-site disaster recovery. However, today we're talking about another option uh, included in Image Manager called Network Drive Replication. And leveraging Azure File Share, we can use this for automated off-site replication and a good use case as long-term affordable archives, you know, storing a copy of those backup images for a longer period of time. Obviously, with the Storage Craft Cloud, it's tailored for DR, and generally the, the retention is going to be generally within the days, weeks, or, or short term of months. So, yeah, Azure File Share is really giving that longer-term um, affordable archive of those backup images. And that's really important with a continuous incremental backup chain is having a copy of those backup images somewhere so that if something was to get corrupt or, or infected or, or damaged, you know, uh, we could pull that file back. And that, that's going to be a huge advantage with well, what we can do in Azure File Share. So just moving forward from there, let's just jump straight into a demonstration. And um, what I'll do is I'll bring up the um, Azure portal. Um, and what I'll do is I'll jump into um, a storage resource that I have already got set up here. And all I'm simply going to do is create an, an Azure file share. So under file service, we'll come in here and click uh, new file share. I'll call this STC YouTube. And maybe I'll give it I don't know, a terabyte quota. It's not too, I think the limit at the moment might be five terabytes. Yeah, so I'll just give it uh, one TB. Now, the next step is pretty straightforward. If we click on this little context menu, um, we can go connect, and it gives us a bunch of information around connecting to the um, Azure File Share. So basically, what I need to do is leverage this information here. Um, obviously, I don't want to run a command because Image Manager won't actually replicate to a mapped drive. I want to use the information in here as the replication target. So I'll just keep that there, and what we'll do is I'll open up Image Manager, and I've got a, a, an older uh, managed folder here, but just for example, I'm going to right click and create a job called replication. I'm then going to set it to network drive. That's what we're going to use to connect to Azure file. And then for the location, I'm going to add in a new location. I'll call this STC YouTube Azure file. Uh, and then for the server, I need to paste in the server address. So that's this component here. That's basically the server address of the service. So I'll paste that in, and then I can see there the share is STC YouTube, that piece there, after the backslash. So I'll get that and copy that in as the share, and then I need to authenticate. Now I need to then again pick the details out, so I can see here slash U, that's user, and then it's got domain name backslash user, so Azure is the domain name, and then the user is STCAU. So in this example here, I put in Azure, the username STCAU, and then this remaining piece, there's a space there following the username, and these are just general command line parameters, is the password. So I'll go back in and paste in, uh, just turn off my caps lock, paste in that uh, details. Now when I click save, you'll note the spinning wheel, that is verifying that Image Manager can connect to that UNC path, that share that we've defined. So it can take a couple of seconds as it's just verifying those credentials. Um, obviously if the credentials fail, it's going to tell us that there's a problem with the credentials, um, but in this case um, it is successfully connected. Now what we're going to do here is, is Image Manager is going to create a subdirectory in that share, and in this case it's just called backups. Generally it will have the server name in there. Um, so um, basically what you need to do is this replication job that I've just created, I can use that for multiple 
um, managed folders, but each of them obviously want to replicate into their own subdirectory to match the server name. So just bear that in mind. Um, now obviously I want to replicate up the base image, so I'm not going to select that. Under replication mode, are you replicating to a folder being consolidated by a second image manager? Well, no, you're not. There's no, unless you're going to run image manager somewhere else to remanage that, um, you, you're not going to run a second image manager. So leave that on no. Um, and files moved or deleted by image manager locally are also going to be deleted on the destination. So this is how we'll manage the the remote copy or the Azure share copies. It'll basically be a mirror of exactly what we have locally. So again, um, you could enable this option, also replicate original unconsolidated intraday images. So what that means is it'll replicate the backup. So as soon as Shadow Protect does a backup, it will immediately verify it and then replicate it into the share. Um, so that's obviously doing it throughout the day. Um, but generally the default setting of, of just, you know, Shadow Protect will do its backups throughout the day, uh, you know, by default every hour. Um, and then Image Manager, once it does its consolidation at midnight, it will then replicate that change and any other, you know, if it does retention, it'll go and clean up the stuff in Azure Share, um, Azure File rather, to, to make it match. It's basically a mirror. Now the cool thing with using Image Manager to do this is that it will only replicate files once they have been verified and it will not go and subsequently replicate existing files that might have been corrupt or if they got hit by ransomware or deleted. It won't affect the remote site. So this is a really good way. I've had some partners tell me that you know they've used um, their uh, NASs to replicate you know images into Azure Blob Storage. The problem is, you know, if someone deletes some files or they get corrupt or something happens, the NAS doesn't know it. It'll just replicate those changes. So I really encourage you leverage Image Manager to handle this for you, uh, and it will, you know, give you a really good solution that's going to give you a complete copy of your Shadow Protect images in an automated offsite fashion. So I just come here and click Save. Again, it's going to validate that connection. It's going to go and connect to the share, create the subfolder. Uh, I can see there it's just going to take a few seconds to, to do that connection. Obviously, it's happening over the internet. But once it saves the job, we'll get a replication job there. It's going to check the total number of images that it needs to see. Uh, I can see that it's got queued files nine. So the replication has now started. Um, if I take a quick look in my task manager, uh, we can probably go and look at the performance uh, here. So, I'm you know I'm sitting about 28 megabits a second. Um, you know this is going to fluctuate. So obviously, network drive replication is you know initially it was intended for replicating to a local NAS where you're going to get some good performance. Um, but you know it's going to chug away. It's going to get that base image up there. It's going to replicate all my consolidated images up until the most recent day. And then as Image Manager consolidates locally uh, the daily, weekly, monthly images, it will replicate those changes into the Azure Share. So we get a nice consistent copy of uh, my backup images that I have on-prem. So that's it, very straightforward, um, you know, very easy to set up, uh, it seems to work really well from my testing and I've got a few partners uh, already leveraging this today as well, which is fantastic. So uh, thanks again um, for your time, cheers.